Painting is when you start with your fresh face, you've shaved. A lot of pan stick foundation goes on. And you've got to know there's a saying that says cover girl does not cover boy. You need better makeup, stage makeup. And a lot of companies have upped their ante because trends tend to follow the drag community and they always have. We've been doing vibrant, vivid, sparkly, and that's the way a lot of the companies are going now. I can start getting ready at seven and be here at nine and be ready. I've gotten out of bed late and gotten myself ready in 30 minutes. And somehow, when you're rushed like that, your face kind of turns out a little bit better because you don't take so much time working on little details about it. With me, I often find that I have like a crooked lip or one eye looks a little droopy or something. And I think, you know what, it's good to have a flaw. It keeps you grounded. So laugh with me about my flaw. Let's just all laugh together. My favorite style with any outfit that I wear is color. I don't care how colorful it is. If I can put a boa on it to make it more festive, I'll do that. If I pin earrings in my hair to be a little bit more sparkly, I'll do that. But anything that has color, I think, translates to fun and vivid, and that's what I look for. And as far as me getting ready, once I've decided my number and my outfit, I then choose makeup that complements the outfits that I'm gonna wear. And that's something that I'm actually known for amongst the other girls. They laugh about it, but my makeup, my earrings match the colors of my clothing. And that's just because it's something that I like to do and it's a part of my persona. The most important thing with the show is entertaining the audience. Having the girls ready when they're supposed to be ready, get on stage when they're supposed to be on stage and do your best to entertain them. The crowd always makes a difference, so you don't know what you're gonna get and you feed off of the crowd. And that's kind of when I come alive.